Our second speaker is Mrs. Sohila Hadipur. She is a human rights activist and a translator for the refugees in Germany. She is going to talk about the prisoners of conscience in Iran. Greetings to the audience and thanks to the Association of World Citizens. I would like to start my speech by expressing my gratitude to all the people who have devoted their lives to peace and liberation of humanity. My today's report focuses on the arbitrary detentions and human rights violations of a spiritual group in Iran called Erfan Halde. Since the foundation of the Islamic Republic of Iran, it has been against democracy and it has suppre suppressed all ways of thinking and all opinions which were different from the ruling theocracy. In order to legitimize arbitrary arrests and suppression of intellectuals and free thinkers, the Islamic Republic of Iran uses completely fraud and made up accusations such as acting against the revolution, being a spy, apostasy, blasphemy, insulting Islamic sanctities, fighting against God and the Prophet, corruption on the earth, insulting the Prophet Muhammad, adultery, starting a cult, etc. One example is the execution of Mr. Mohsen Amir Aslani, which was done on charge of uh, blasphemy and religious deviation. Muhammad Ali Tahiri's letter um, in March 2013 to Mr. Ahmad Shahid is a clear evidence which is demonstrating the violation of human rights of prisoners of conscience by security agencies such as IRGC and its Sarala headquarters and its intelligence services. Mr. Tahiri's letter explained in details the horrible crimes and violations happening in Iran. It should be noted that ethnic and religious minorities such as Sunnis, Baha'is, Christians and followers of Mr. Sayyid Hossein Kazemini Burujerdi are constantly being discriminated and pursued and their civil, political, economic and social rights are being violated. Followers of spiritual groups such as the Nematullah, Gonabadi, Dervishes, Ahle Haq or Yarsan and Irfan Haq are continuously suppressed because of their worldview. Iran's ruling security forces consider Erfan Halqe to be a danger to their government. All training classes have been prohibited and the founder Muhammad Ali Tahiri has been kept in solitary confinement since 2010. And has been sentenced to death twice. Hundreds of Mr. Tahiri's students have been prosecuted, detained, imprisoned, and forced to make false confessions. Based on Article 19 of the Universal Decla Declaration of Human Rights, everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. This right includes freedom to hold opinion without interference. So, prohibiting Irfan Halqa training classes is an action in violation of this right. I address the condition of Muhammad Ali 
Tahiri here and his followers, of course. Mr. Tahiri is an Iranian writer and he's the founder of Erfan Halqe and two complementary medicine schools who is, who is in prison since 2010, May 2011. And it's almost seven years that he's imprisoned in the solitary confinement of 2A, War 2A of Evin Prison. His imprison, imprisonment of five years was uh, finished in February 2016, but he was not only not released, but also uh, sentenced to death on charge of corruption on the earth on August 27th, 2070. And that his first death sentence was uh, violated in the Supreme Court, but he has been sentenced to death for the second time. According to the International Convention on the Rights, on the Civil and Political Rights, nobody could can be uh, sentenced for a crime for which he has been sentenced already once. The spokeswoman of the United States Department of State having issued a statement on September 1st, 2017, expressed her deep concern over the death sentence for Mr. Muhammad Ali Tahiri. She noted Iran's international obligations to respect the freedom of belief and religion and to guarantee these rights. She also expressed her concern about the arrest of Mr. Tahiri's followers on unacceptable charges and called for the death sentences of Mr. Tahiri to be lifted. On August 15, 2017, the U.S. State Department's annual report criticized the continued violation of the rights of minorities. The ongoing pressure on the followers of Mr. Tahiri has uh, uh, forced them to immigrate to other countries after uh, the raids of the security forces in just in the recent two months, almost 100 Irfan Halqa followers have been arrested in Shiraz, Mashhad, Isfahan, Shahin Shah, Najafabad, Shahrere, Tabriz, Tehran, and Babol. The, the, the media of IRGC are in have published the news of these arrests in Najafabad and Shahinshar and using some uh, expression like uh, the head of the cult or that the cult has been destroyed are poisoning the public opinion uh, and his followers. I will tell you the names of some of these arrested Irfan Ahalqa followers. Some of them are Puyan Gabi Bayan, Kurosh Azadi, Masum Sadeq, Nora Najafi, Mustafa Abed, Sayyid Said Hashemi Ibrahimi, Ali Golami, Sima Kabu Khubnejad, Javad Salami, Rajabi, Ali Zare, Saide Gudarzi, and her daughter Samane, Mahtab Zia, Ismail Dehkan, Mahmud Muhammad Amin Ismaili, Wahid Pur Tahmas, Amir Qasimi, Muhammad Hussein Zafrani, 
فریبا کارشناس رها دابودیان سهرا سادات ابراهیمی زهرا شافی ده دهقان ملیکا کابندی رامین منصوریان علی کاروسی محمد آباریان امیر عباس نصیری مهزاد خسروانی ناهید ربانی علی رزا روان رشوند امانه آمنه حکمت مرام محسن باغری اکرم درویشی زهرا بزرگ پور کیرمین محمد زاده مرزی داودیان علی برمکی مسلم مؤمنی گلنار بهاری نژاد مهدی سپهر ریار سپهر علی معماریان امیر حسین میر خلیلی فاطمه ساجدی سهر صدر ندا جلالی رکسانا رز... مریم جم رکسانا رضایی احترام خداوند اند براتی In most of the cases the arrested students are initially transported to an unknown location some have been released on the bail after violent interrogations and others are detained in solitary confinement for a longer time regardless of their age or having very young children it should be noted that many have been threatened by security forces to keep silent after being released and not to publicize their arrests Thus, the exact number of the detainees is not available to us. At the end, I would like to thank all the peace-seeking people around the world for their activities against execution and torture I, and their support for the prisoners of conscience and their efforts in to defend the human rights in Iran. I would like to finish my speech with a sentence of Mr. Tahiri. The fall of each of us is a fall of others, and the ascent of each of us will affect the ascent of the others. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mrs. Hadipur. 